Hi guys, in today's video we are going to paint this beautiful painting in simple four step. So let's get started. Now let's see the requirements of art materials in this painting. You can check the link in the description. And in the first step we are going to paint the background. In this painting I decided to give a very beautiful and also dreamy background for this painting. So I decided to give the colors in the blue family like the colors ultramarine blue and deep cyan and cerulean blue I have chosen for this background and I decided to paint this like a very peaceful and also calming painting so that I decide this cool colors and it give us a very cool vibe. You can see we are moving from the dark shades of blue to the light shades of blue. So you can see in the top of the canvas we are using the color ultramarine blue. In the middle we mix ultramarine blue with deep cyan and now we are using the color cerulean blue. Also I am mixing some white to the color cerulean blue to have a very light shade of blue. So this is for our background. Once we finish the smooth gradation of blue for this background, now let's move to paint some stars in this background. So you can see I am using my fan brush, also I am using some liquided white paint and I added some water to the white paint and just to take the paint on my brush and I am going to just sprinkle the paint on my canvas. So then this technique you can paint lots of stars in a very easy way. And this technique always helps me to paint a beautiful sky and beautiful aesthetic view. Now I decide to give a smoky effect in this background. So here you can see I am using my makeup brush. I am taking some paint on my brush and gently apply the paint on this surface. So this is the most beautiful and easy way to paint a smoky effort using a makeup brush. But sometimes beginners feel it is difficult to paint a smoky effort using makeup brush because they make these two mistakes. The first mistake is they take lots amount of paint on their brush and they apply the paint on their canvas so they can't make that beautiful smoky effort and the second mistake is they give too much pressure on their breast so they can't get the beautiful effort of smoke in their painting so you have to avoid these two mistakes in the second step we are going to paint a orange moon so we need this masking tape and you can see i am drawing some circle in this masking tape we need to remove the circle as we are going to paint inside the circle. After removing the circle, I am going to apply the color white. So you can see the background is blue color. I am going to paint orange moon. So I need a very vibrant orange color. So I am applying the white base for that. Since the white layer is completely dry, I am going to paint the orange color here. So you have to careful before painting this, you have to check if your white layer is completely dry and then apply the color orange here. To be honest, I love to paint on this white surface using this orange color. Whenever I get a chance to paint a white background, I always love this. Now let's paint some yellow color on this. So you can see I am painting the yellow shade and mixing the yellow shade with orange and just apply the color only the side of the circle. Now you can see I am applying the color orange. So whenever you are doing this you have to remember you have to check the layer is completely dry then you can add another layer on the top of it. This painting idea was suggested by one of my followers in Instagram. They asked me to paint a girl playing a piano and I wanted to give more aesthetic sense to this painting. So I added this orange moon in a blue background for this painting. After remove the tape, I am painting some details on this moon. I mix some black to the color orange to have this brown shade of orange and I am painting some details on this moon and here I am using my round brush while using the round brush I am only using the tip of my round brush. The reason why I chose this orange moon for this painting is you know the complementary color of blue is orange so I decided to give a background in blue and the moon in orange. 
so the painting will be more beautiful and vibrant so that i decide to paint the moon in orange so whenever i'm painting i just go for the color theory and how the color works with each other and it always helps me to create a beautiful paintings and in this painting i really love this orange moon After we finish this orange moon, let's move to the third step. So in the third step, we are going to paint the piano. So you can see I already traced the image of the piano. You can also get the image of the piano with the girl in my description. I have given the link there. You can check. Now let's paint the piano. So you can see I am using my round brush and using this black color for this piano. So whenever you paint something small in your paintings, always go for a small brush. If you are new to my channel, I am Rakshana and I love to paint with acrylic and here I am sharing my painting knowledge with beginners and if you find my tutorial is really easy and interesting then make sure to subscribe to my youtube channel and also follow me in my instagram to know all the regular updates about my painting. If you want to have a closer look of the details in this painting, especially the piano and the moon, then you can check my community post. I post all the images with a detailed and zoomed image. You can check the community post. Now let's paint the reflection of the moon on the piano. So I am painting the same orange color on this piano again. Once we finish painting the piano then let's move to the last step that is the girl. So you can see first I am painting the dress of the girl using the same orange color. Now it's time to paint the skin of the girl. To paint the skin tone, I use the color yellow auger and I make it some white to the yellow auger and I'm using my detailing press to paint the skin. I had to be really very careful while painting the shoulder and the hands because they are very small. So here I use my detailing brush. So I suggest you use a detailing brush to paint the small hands. If you don't have a detailing brush then use the tip of your round brush this also give the same result. For this hair I mix the color yellow auger and little black to the color. So we have this dark shade of yellow auger. Now let's use some black to have the separate strands of hair. For the highlight of the hair I use the same yellow auger this time I didn't mix any color to this yellow auger and the folds in the dress I use the same yellow auger and add some black to the yellow auger and I paint this folds here. After 3 hearts of painting, this is the final look of our painting. I absolutely love this painting and let me know in the comment section how much you like this painting and how much the tutorial is helpful for you. And I will meet you guys with another beautiful painting with a step by step tutorial. Until then have fun with colors.